everyone. Welcome to Sherry's Tune. Do it again. Do it. Let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sherry's Tune. And I'm back again this week again to give you guys a brand new haul. And um, first, before I do my haul, let me just say hi, everybody. Happy birthday to all of the March babies. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear March babies. Happy birthday to you. Alrighty, and blessings too. Also, I just want to say thank you to all my new subbies. Thanks to all my subbies that's been with me for the longest. Thank you for to everybody who, who watch my videos and for all your comments and your thumbs up. Okay, and if you like this video, please thumbs up this video as well okay i hope you guys are having a great weekend and i hope your week was great as well and i think that's about it i think that's all i want to say before i start with this haul okay so i went to a few stores i got a couple random things i want to show you from walmart from five and below and from hobby lobby and ross okay those are just random things that i just thought was so cute that i just had to show you guys. I have to show you guys. And my regular haul stuff would be from the 99 cent store in DT Dollar Tree. All right. So first, let me start with Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree has a lot of new things that's out right now, guys. And I really just want to show you guys what these things are because I think it's really cute. Okay. The first thing I want to show you guys is this right here. Can you believe they Dollar Tree? It's Dollar Tree bag. DT. Can you believe Dollar Tree has these compact trimmers by Assured at their store? And not only do they have these, this little thing right here works very well, okay? I went to Dollar Tree, I bought like one of these things right here. I actually bought two. And I was like, let me take these home and let me just use one to see if it works pretty good. Because I saw somebody online, you know, had one. Um, Ella DeVos, she bought one. And she used it online, and it did pretty good on the side of her hair, her face. You know, her baby hair is right there on the side. So um, I was like, let me go ahead and check out these things. So I went around to a bunch of Dollar Trees, and I finally found these, right? And so I went on and bought, like, two of them, took this home, got the batteries, because you have to put one AA battery in here, which is a real good thing, you know, just only one. And I, can, I just used the Dollar Tree brand, the one that I normally use, the one with the high drainage. Put it in there. It came on like it should. Um, worked pretty good and everything. I used it underneath my arms, actually. And you know what? It did better than a razor. Okay? It, it did real good. I'm very impressed with it. So I went out and bought two more of these. So if you see these in your Dollar Tree, go ahead and pick some up. You can use it for your eyebrows. You can use it for um, hair un underneath your arms and in the other area, too. You know, you can use it a lot of different places, and it works really, really good. Okay, and it's by Assured. Assured usually sells some good products anyway. That's one thing I have to say about Assured. That's why I usually just buy that brand of stuff. You know. Then I got these little fingernail polishes from um, Dollar Tree. I'm gonna try to say I'm I'm I think I'll try not to say um every two seconds too because that's so annoying. So let's see if I can do that. I bought these three right here which are all by LA colors and then you can see that I have this color on my fingers on my fingernails it's not done good I just did like a rush job and this is 788 a beautiful color it's like a fuchsia okay then I got this clear top coat by LA colors which I put over you know my nails when I'm finished polishing and then sometimes I put it beneath the polish because I think when you put it underneath your nails, it won't turn your nails uh, like a yellowish color. Then I bought this lavender looking, they call it jelly. Fingernail polish by LA Colors. That is beautiful. It's like a lilac. Really cute for springtime. Okay. Then they had Wet and Wild in a pack. I, I already opened mine, but these come together in a pack. And this is for a dollar by Wet and Wild. 
And let's see, I don't know what color these are, but one is red. One is more like a pinkish, not pink, but like a, well, what color is this? Like a burgundy color. And the red one is, well, I don't have red on my fingers now, but the red is just like my other red polish that I wear. So that's a pretty good bargain. You get two for one dollar. You can't beat that. No formaldehyde either. So that's a good thing too. Then I got this thing in that polish. I'm just going to throw a random one in there from Big Lots because I forgot about Big Lots. Well, I got this gel thing in that polish by LA Colors. This came from Big Lots though. And they were all on sale for $2. So I went on and got this clear coat of clear, yeah, clear thing in that polish, but gel from Big Lots for $2. Okay? Excuse my voice, allergies, as usual. All right, so that's that. So then I... Also got these little paper lanterns. These are battery operated too. I think you put two double, triple A batteries in here and you light them up. The little bulb right there lights up and it's really cute if you do that. I have done that before but I really don't ever keep them on when I hang them up. I just bought these for my closet. Okay, and I may put batteries in here, I may not. I just like the decoration, the lantern. That's it, but these are really cute. And I always buy those. I bought some of this boat, some of this Ascot yarn type stuff, like what you use to make a scarf, but I'm not going to use this for a scarf. I'm actually going to use this, and not yarn, I forgot what you call this stuff, you know, the stuff that you use when you knit. I don't knit, so, okay, but anyway, I'm going to use this to put around my towels in my bathroom, because my bathroom is this color, and so I am going to wrap this around my towel in a bow, and I make tear a piece off for my cat to play with because he likes playing. I mean, she likes playing with things like this. So this is really cute. It had a bunch of colors too in case people knit to make you know, these little scarves and stuff like that. But I don't see why you would have to knit that, huh? You seem like you just put this together. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it's cute, okay? And this is, let's see how big it is. 46 yards. So that's pretty good. And you can even, you know what? I can even wrap this around like in my living room. I need to take this brown pillow out of here, and I think I will because fall is, is over. But if you, you could actually take this and wrap it around there as well, you know, if this is what I was going for in my living room, but I'm not now, but next time I may do that. And I'm changing my colors in here, so because I'm tired of all this, this brown stuff. And then something else that I got new is this body oil. By, it is by Bolero. And I got this, uh, let's see, English Rose Blossom. I haven't smelled this yet. Let me see what it smells like real quick, if I can. <sighs> I'm pretty sure it smells good, though, but because I hear other people talking about it online when they do their hauls and stuff. Yeah, man, I can't even open the box. Every time I do a video, I can never open these boxes. But anyway, when I get it open, I'll check it out to see what it smells like and let you guys know. Okay, so I got that one in the English Rose Blossoms scent. This is a bath oil, a body oil, a face, skin, and hair. That's good. Okay, and it's, it's natural too, so yeah. No artificial dyes or anything, and it's cruelty-free to animals. Then I got the Bolero Facial Wipes, the English Rose Blossom as well. See, yeah, these smell pretty good. Yeah, mm hmm. I like their products because they're natural, more natural than all this other stuff they smell. I don't know if I'll be using that though for sure. And then I got this other one in Italian pear. Okay, I just like stuff like this to sit in my bathroom if I have room for decorations, but I probably will use those facial wipes. I don't know because I'm allergic to everything, I don't know for sure yet. Then I got another, uh, let's see, I got another body oil in Moroccan mint and raspberry. I can't wait to see what this smells like. Yeah, I'm going to open this in a, in a few minutes. Okay, so I got that. And I got some body wash. I got two of these. One is in the Italian pear. Let me see what that smells like. Wait, they probably have a seal on here, they do. Hmm, smells pretty good, guys. Yeah, Italian pear smells pretty good. 
English Rose Blossom. Okay. Let's see what that smells like. That smells pretty good. This was open a little bit. Yeah. It smells like body wash, but it, smells, it has a good scent to it and everything. Then I got some lotion, some body cream, English Rose Blossom. This uh, smells pretty good as well. Okay. I may get these out for a gift. I don't know for sure yet. And I think I got one more lotion, I think. I may, I think I did, let's see. Yeah, here's the other one. I got this one in a Moroccan mint and raspberry. Let me see what this looks like. It looks like it's open. Let me see. I hope it's not. No, it's not. Just look like it. It's got cotton on it. So I got one of these. Because, you know, I take stuff back. So I always keep my receipts. Just in case. Because you know how they do at Dollar Tree sometimes. I'll put them over there. Okay. So that's it with the Bolero products. I got all those products for a dollar each. And when you look those up online, it costs way more than a dollar. I forget how much the bath oil costs just right here. I can't remember, but it costs a lot. Okay, I remember that. And the oils and stuff and the facial wipes and the lotion. Yeah, they're pretty. They cost a lot too. So getting those at Dollar Tree is a good, good deal. I don't think they sell the same brand now because they probably change brands or whatever the case is. But still, it still is a good, good, good bargain as long as it's fresh. And they are fresh. Okay, so something else that I got is the Airwick 4-in-1 in Vanilla Passion. Let's see what it smells like real quick. Let's see. Oh, man. That smells pretty good. I love I love the vanilla um, scent because it always, it's not too strong and it's just right for me. I love that scent in most things. This stuff is always open a little bit. I'm so glad it didn't leak. Then something else new they had at Dollar Tree are these different eyeliners. It's Otto Eyeliner by LA Colors. So I got navy and I got purple. And I like this type of eyeliner because it's easier for me to put it, you know, on my eyes and stuff like that. It glides on better. So I got like, all together I got like four of these in navy and purple. They had all different colors too. So if you see these in your Dollar Tree, you may want to pick them up. They're easier to um, put on versus... You know, we use a the regular one, the pen or the liquid stuff. And then I got these little pillowcases. Their pillowcases are okay. I mean, honestly, I don't use them seriously on a serious tip. These are from my children's bed because they always mess up everything. And then I got some of my um, son's pillows because he does the same thing. So I think it's a good deal, though, you know, for children. And it's polyester, so as long as they wear a satin sleeping um, cap, the girls, their hair should be okay. So I got two of these because I just bought them some new sheets. And I think it's one pillowcase in each container, I believe so. Then I got this little cute thing right here. I thought it was so cute. I said, let me pick this up in my bedroom. I don't need, I don't need anything else on my dresser, but I'm going to take something off my dresser and put this little guy there or either in my bathroom. See, I buy a lot of stuff, but what I do is put stuff up. And change it, change everything up every so often because I like I, I hate seeing the same old thing. Like I really want to take this picture down right here and put the other picture up, but I just don't feel like messing with those pictures because it's a trip dealing with those pictures, especially the ones that have two hooks on each side. It's annoying. I got some more of these bubble mailers. And there's two in here, and it's got bubble inside of it, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I got that. Let's see what else I got here. I left my earrings. I had to call the store and tell them I left them up there because I was going to show you guys my earrings. And of course I got, my ring fell off. Of course I got two of these tied. Don't, I got two of these, uh, dish, not dish detergent, washing detergent. Okay. Nothing special. You know what tie does. And I think I got another, I didn't know I bought two of these. I bought another one. This is in the papaya and I can never pronounce this word, hibiscus flower. So that's, yeah, I need to see what that smells like. Let's see. Hope it don't come out like the other one did. Oh yeah, this really smells good. I can't wait to spray it. I usually just do a light mist throughout the place. Nothing too crazy. 
Okay, let's see. Then I got some more of this booster stuff. So this is some good stuff. I just usually put a little in my washer. And it makes my clothing smell pretty good. Yeah. So I bought one of those. Sorry about that noise, guys. And I got some more of this vegetable oil. We just use this for cakes. So I had to fill up my refill thing. So I bought this one. Even though I got the store brand one, I just bought this at Dollar Tree because I didn't want to open up the other one. And I just got this and put this inside the thing. Okay? That's why it's gone because we already emptied it inside the other container. And then I got some more dish detergent packs. There are 10 in here. These are okay. You know, they wash the dishes pretty good if you pre rinse the dishes first. So, yeah, we got this, the back of this. I think I got like two of these. I got another candle. And this candle by Luminescent smells pretty good, hon. Uh, this is the fresh linen scent. And that's another scent that I love buying is the fresh linen because it's not too strong. It's mild, and I love mild scents, even in perfume. I don't like anything that's strong. Okay. I got some paper towels from Dollar Tree. I got like two of these. This is the 140 sheet paper towel by, oh, this is by. Okay, but anyway, these are the ones that I use since I don't see the one by the home store anymore. So I got that. Let's see here if I got everything. And kindly she here. Yeah. I got some more toilet tissue. I got like six of these. Yeah, I could have went to the store and bought a big thing. But I love this tissue because it's not too soft and it's not too hard. It's just right for me. Okay. And these, these rolls usually last a long time. So I got like, all together, I probably got like six of these. Okay. And I got some regular toilet tissue for my children. You know, angel soft or something. But I like that for myself. I got me another scrub brush like this so I can wash my back. And probably, this is, this is hard enough, not too hard, but it's hard enough to affiliate with this. So I'm going to do that to my skin when I take a shower. Last time I broke the dead on thing washing my back because I was holding it too hard. So I try to be gentle with that one because you know it's cheap. And then I got some moist <laughs> antibacterial wipes by Assured, my favorite brand at the Dollar Tree. And the one that I trust. There are 20 in here. These do work pretty good for you. And I like that they are individually packed as well. I got some of these baking cups by Cooking Concept. Another good brand to use when you buy any of their baking things and things like that. I think it's 100 pieces in here. So that's good for when you want to bake muffins. And I had to get me some more gum. Four in a pack for a dollar. The same thing. It's equivalent to the big pack you buy at Walmart or somewhere like that. For 96 cents or $1.39 if you go somewhere like Aberson. And then I got some more of these cotton rounds. I got like two packs of these. This one right here is actually going to go to my daughter. But these are good to use. I like them. You know, I usually use one. You know, some people put two together. And there are 80 in here. These are pretty good for removing eye makeup or washing your face or um, whatever you want to use it for. It's pretty good for that, okay? And that's by Assured. And I got some of these rubber bands. These are not really rubber bands. They're class-free elastics. Ten in here for my daughter to put her hair up in a ponytail. And for me, too, when I put my eyes up into a one ponytail. Okay? These are pretty durable. Man, this little rock. I always fall out of here. But anyway, I'm out there. This little rock right here, pebble, keeps on falling out of this flower. So I'm going to have to probably glue that back in there. But I got this gorgeous plant from Ross. And this plant was only $10.99. You can see the price tag because I didn't take it off yet. From Ross. And that's one thing I like about Ross is that you can buy plants and a lot of things at a cheaper price than you would pay at regular stores like Home Store, Hobby Lobby, and things like that. This is gorgeous though. I always wanted one of these plants. I wanted a real one, but I figured that I would kill it or something. So I went on, when we saw this, my daughter was like, you should get that for yourself. And that's what I did. I love it. It's beautiful. $10.99. It looks real too, doesn't it? Nice. Okay, so that's the one thing I bought from Ross that I wanted to show you guys. I got all this stuff everywhere. Let me move some of this stuff up the way. Then I went to uh, Five and Below. Oh, man, my ring keep on flying off of my finger. It don't go on the finger that I'm putting it on. That's why it keeps on flying off. But when I went to Five and Below, they didn't really have anything. But they did have this right here. A stool to put in my bed. 
<laughs> to put in my bedroom, right, at my little computer desk. Because what I did, guys, I needed to buy me a taller computer table, desk, but I couldn't find one that's assembled and was around the price I wanted, wanted to pay for it. So what I did is just picked up a table, a small table, and put my computer on it for the time being. And so I had, I needed a little something to sit on that wouldn't be too high so I can be able to use the computer comfortably my desktop. So I got this. This is $5 at Five and below, okay? And it's, it's durable. I mean, I can sit on it. I weigh 140 pounds, so I can sit on this with no problem, okay? So I think that's a good bargain. And they come in different colors, too. They have them. They are all they are all white on this part. So the legs are, they got different colors, like blue. Then they got green. And then, of course, it's white. So I got white so it can match, you know, my bedroom. Then at Walmart, I could not believe, Stina went on. I could not believe this right here, okay? I got this at Walmart for, this. let me tell you what this is first. This is a copper crisper, okay? You can use this to cook french fries, onion rings, anything that you bake, okay? Even chicken or whatever the case is. It says it prevents sticking and burning. Let me show you guys what this looks like real quick. Now, I know I can open this real quick because I had, I guess I can. Anytime I get on camera, I can never open stuff. I forget how to tile. There's all kinds of weird stuff. That's why I never get on camera because I'll be, you know, even worse on camera if I was actually on camera. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Show you guys. This is the little top rack, okay? That you put the chicken on or french fries and then the bottom rack looks like this you can even separate this and bake cookies in this or whatever but when you want to cook you just put this on top of there and you put the food in there and it takes the grease out of it the grease drains on the pan and it does not stick and you can put this in the oven and it's copper and and this was on clearance at walmart at Walmart for five dollars so I got me one of these because I thought it was a good steal okay and let me show you the other things that I got at the stores okay while they're getting all the pots and stuff that I bought I just want to show you another pot a skillet not a pot that I got that was on sale at Target this is another uh, deal that I got at Target I forgot to tell you guys I went to Target too okay I'm, I'll be everywhere and this right here was on sale for how much was this? I forgot. Uh, I think twenty eight dollars. This was not no twenty eight. It was on sale for nineteen ninety nine. It was normally twenty eight to thirty dollars or something like that. Yeah, it was on sale. It was on sale for nineteen ninety nine. And the reason why I thought this was a good steal is because I always wanted a pot like this. Okay, look at the inside. And it's, things don't supposed to stick on it. You can easily wash it. We haven't used it yet. But it's just a good one. It's about oyster. I think that's how you pronounce the oyster. Yeah. And it's just a really good bargain. Okay. And it comes with a lid. So this is a real good steal. They got a good sale at Target. Okay. So you guys may want to go and check that out. They got a bunch of pot sets. Well, pots and pans and things like that that's on clearance at Target. Matter of fact, they got a lot of stuff on clearance at Target. Because I got a few more items that I'm not going to show. But they got a bunch of stuff. And then at Big Lots. I got this. Big Lots also has a sale on their pots. Okay. I got this right here on sale for $10. Look how deep this is on the inside. $10. It matches my other pots and stuff and skillets. It's red. My kitchen is red anyway. And so when I saw this, you know I had to get this. $10. You can't beat it. It has the lid with it too. And it's pretty. Look at this red burgundy looking color. It's gorgeous. I may go back if they still have. I should have went back and got another one today. I forgot. But I don't need any more pots anyway because I got a bunch. And then, and then I went back to the 99 cent store and got, they had a whole nother collection of the same ones, but a new collection of these pots and skillets again. So I needed another one just for bag up. Because these do work good. So if you see them at your 99 cent store, you better go get one or two or three. Because they're $4.99 and these work good. Okay? The skillets works just like they say. Stuff does not stick to them. Even if it does stick a little bit, it comes right off when you wash it. Right off. 
Okay, so yeah, I went back and got this one for four ninety nine. And I think that's it with my pot rear and stuff. I mean, I got a few more things, but I'm not going to show them because I got a lot of stuff. But I can't show you this that I got from the 99 cent store. With just some more antibacterial hand soap. And this is the Milk and Honey by, by Panna Rosa. This stuff works pretty good. It's not watery or anything. A good consistency. I love this stuff. And I think I forgot to show you my other candle that I got from Dollar Tree, which is a very something, very tough or something, truffle or whatever. And it's the mason jars one. And you know, these in luminescence, these are the best candles, in my opinion, you can buy from Dollar Tree. Smells pretty good, even when you light them. I mean, it's not like the 5 and $10 candles, but it's still pretty decent. Okay, so yeah, luminescence in these mason jar candles are pretty good okay and i think that's it with my whole things oh one more thing man i got so much stuff this is ridiculous i went to let me just do a hobby lobby hobby lobby have a good sale as well they have 50 percent off on uh ceramics and on flowers so like i told you before i'm changing my colors up somewhat in this living room area in my whole place Instead of having all this burgundy and stuff everywhere, it's still going to be burgundy basically, but it's gonna, I'm incorporating a little white in here just to make it look a little different, you know, to spring it up some. So I got these white roses, and these are normally $6 a piece, so I got each one half off, okay, so $3 a piece for four. So I paid like $12 for all these roses, and I got four of them. And I wanted the long stem ones because I wanted to hang out of my base over there because I'm going to change those plants. And put these there instead, along with some more, because I'm probably gonna go back and get some more and just put them inside of there so I can incorporate the white in my, you know, living area. And that came from Hobby Lobby. I love it when they have sales on their plants because their plants look a little bit more real. You see how real this looks. So, like, I usually go to the store and I mix stuff together. I told you guys before when I go shopping. I don't necessarily, see, when I do my haul, I'm showing you stuff that I buy. But sometimes I have changed some things, too, and, and changed them up, or I give it away, or whatever the case is. But I also incorporate Dollar Tree stuff together with norm, with regular stuff that I buy. So, stuff won't be looking cheap. You understand what I'm saying? So, if I buy their plants, sometimes I use plants from Michael's, or Hobby Lobby, or somewhere like that mixed in with the Dollar Tree plants. So you really can't, you know, tell. And usually Michael's and Hobby Lobby, they usually have sales on their plants at a certain time in flowers, like 50%. I actually went in there to look for a big, tall floor plant, you know, those big, tall ones. But I did not want to pay $70 for one, so I'm going to still look other places and see if I can find one or wait till Walmart bring theirs out. And then I'm going to buy it from Walmart for $40 so I can put it in my apartment. Guys, I still got my Christmas tree up, okay? Don't laugh. Okay, I was getting ready to take it down, but I took all the red bulbs off for Valentine's Day. I'm getting ready to dress my Christmas tree up now for uh, Easter, for Easter, Easter eggs on it and stuff. But after that, I'm taking it down, and I want to put a floor plant over there, you know, and have that over there in that section along with my plant behind it. Not plant, along with my picture that I just bought and put it behind it. On one of those art, what, what you call those things that you sit the pictures on? You know what I'm talking about. The things that you put the pictures on to hold them up. You know, when you put artwork and stuff on the floor, you the display thing. You know, I'm going to put put it in one of those. I have to buy a bigger one because that picture is pretty big and stuff. But I think that's it with my haul. Go to these stores. They got some real good sales. I got me a nice. I should have showed you guys my pants that I got. It's rocking. I, I guess I could show it to you real quick. Hold on. While she's bringing my um, thing I wanted to show you guys that I got from, it's the name of that store, Marshalls. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, they got some really good sales <laughs> at these stores. I mean, man, everything is marked down to 50% off. Um, just really great sales, okay? Even the furniture stuff. Even, like I said, the household uh, pots and pans, fingernail polish, purses. I went to Wilson Leathers. I didn't need another purse, so I didn't buy one. They had jackets, purses, everything marked. That's girl. As I was saying, yeah, they got some real great sales at these stores, man. So anyway, I went to Marshall's. 
as I was saying, I went to Marshall's. You can't say what you can see it on me. I got a picture of it actually on it. But when I actually wear it and dress up, I'll let you guys see it. I got this gorgeous. <laughs> I like it. This gorgeous jumpsuit. Okay. It looks good on me too. I love it. You know, you can't really tell how cute it is on camera, but it is rocking, honey. And with some, um, with these navy blue sandals that I'm going to get, their heels, it's going to look great. And you can also wear it with black. I tried them on with my black heels and they still look pretty good. And in the front, I like the way it's low cut in the front. Not too low cut, but it's low cut. In the back, it show your back. So if your back is sexy, it's going to look good back there. And it just fits everywhere like it should. I just love this. Oh, man. I wanted to get it in a bigger size. This is a medium. Because their mediums, to me, fit like a small. And their large fits like a medium. But uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't really find a large one. So I said I, I probably should keep this because the large one may be too big. But this is really cute. And it was only $19.99. So I picked this up. And I'm probably going to go back and get a few more things, hopefully. Before they, well, this is a regular price because they have a bunch of these at $19.99 and they got some for $24.99 and things like that. I got this from there because I went to another store and saw a similar pants jumpsuit and they wanted $50 for it. So when I saw this at Marshall, I was like, honey, let me get this. And I didn't even try it on in the store. I was like, I never try my clothing in the store. I just look at them and see if it looked like it fits. And if it looked like it's going to look good on me, and I get it and take it home. And that's what I did and tried it on it, and it fits good. It's, it's great. I love it. So I'm probably going to go back and get something else, a few more things, because they got a, a real good sale at Marshall's. And the other thing that I forgot to show you guys is, I guess, is this um, Easter egg stuff that I bought. These are the eggs that I'm going to hang on my tree. They got little holes in this, so I'm going to just put a thread, not a thread, but something, you know, yarn or something like that and hang it from my tree it's gonna be all day because i got like two packs of these to put that up there and when i get through i may show you guys i may take a picture and show you guys what it looks like you know i did it last year but i don't think i took a picture of it last year to show anybody but i think i'll show you guys this year what it looks like and if you go online you see people they decorate christmas trees like that all the time nothing new nothing new and i think that's it i think that's all i want to show you i did get some uh, chair cushions i got five of the well four more no three more of those but those are just the basic cushions they sell at Walmart, and they usually are like $5 a piece. So I got like four of those, too. Other than that, that's all I'll show you guys today, because I've definitely been doing this video for 33 minutes, and that's long enough. If you like this video, again, you can thumbs up. You can also leave a comment below. If you're not, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also, you can share this video, because I got a lot of good stuff. Okay, and you may want your friends to see it so they can go out to Walmart, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, what is it, Hobby Lobby for the 50% off, Big Lots for the clearance sale on these pots and stuff like this, $10. These are $10 in prices like that. They may want to go to Target to get their sales, which is 50% off on Hotware like this, as well as other things, towels, washcloths, all types of stuff they got on clearance there. And wait, excuse me, guys. And then you got Marshalls, they got a pretty good sale, and they also got good prices on their stuff. And then Ross, if they want to get some plants and stuff for cheap, but don't look cheap, Ross is a good place for that. And then Walmart, because they got a bunch of appliances and things like that on sale for five dollars on clearance for five dollars eleven they even had one of those fr uh, fry dad things on sale it was on clearance for like twelve dollars i think they had the george foreman grill to a small one and that was only ten dollars so yeah you may want to get to walmart catch that and uh let's see i think that's the places i went to had the sales and even kmart's i didn't buy anything in kmart's but kmart had a, a decent sale as well going on and everything other than that guys you can check me out on facebook you can also check my shea butter line out on facebook that's what i was that's what i was trying to say and it's made in star natural teens on facebook i sell shea butter for 5.99 for a 2.8 ounce container 
And you can also check out my the academy that I started with my friend, which is called Maiden Star Sports Academy. You can just follow us. Just follow us and like the page. That's it. You know, just for that. You know, if you don't do anything else, especially with the, the sports academy. There's not too much you can do with that besides follow and like the page. You know, if you don't want to order the shea butter, you can just follow and like the page or at least like it. Okay, that's Made in Star Natural Teens and Made in Star Sports Academy. We're also on Instagram as well. And you can check out my the book that I co-wrote, The Baby Mama Chronicles, at createspace.com and amazon.com or on Facebook. And other than that, I think that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for watching. Shay, I am so hoarse. Thank you for watching my Dollar Tree haul, guys. And you know what I'm about to say. This is Shay Stone. And I am one, two, three. You know what I'm about to say. I am out. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys in two weeks, okay? Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.